take a deep breath. Because if you're watching this, you've reached that familiar point again. The point where your recon feels empty. Your payload stopped working. Burp Suite feels like a dead terminal. You scroll through Twitter and see everyone posting bounties while your report folder stays blank. And your mind whispers, why can't I find anything anymore? If this is you, stay. This video is made for you. This is a reset, a meditation for bug bounty hunters stuck in the silent phase. Close your eyes for a moment. Think about the bugs you found in the past, the logic bug nobody expected, the rush you felt when you clicked submit report. Those moments were real. You didn't get lucky. You didn't just stumble on them. You earned them. But right now, it feels like everything stopped. Your targets look clean. Your automation shows nothing new. Every endpoint looks familiar. And the excitement is replaced with pressure. Pause. Understand something. Every bug bounty hunter goes through this phase. Every single one. This is not a skill issue. This is a cycle. The bug bounty dilemma is simple. The deeper you go, the higher your expectations become. Early on, every misconfiguration feels like a treasure. But after years of learning, your standards increase. Now, a reflected XSS doesn't excite you. A simple IDOR doesn't feel big enough. And because of this, your brain filters out opportunities that you would have chased earlier. It convinces you that everything is already tested or definitely secure. But remember, most bugs are found not because hackers are smarter, but because they were patient enough to look differently. Take a slow breath. Let's reset your mind. Say this to yourself. I'm not here to compete with anyone. I'm here to learn, to explore, to enjoy the process. Picture yourself opening burp again. But this time, imagine you're a beginner, curious, unattached, no pressure to find a P1, just exploring. Because the truth is, your best bugs come when you aren't forcing results. They come when you're relaxed, observant, and genuinely interested in the system in front of you. This phase isn't a failure. It's your mind telling you to breathe. The silent phase usually appears for three reasons. First reason. Burnout without realizing it. You've been hunting too long without breaks. Your brain stops generating creativity. You're scanning, not thinking. Second reason, overconsuming other people's success. Seeing others win every day makes you feel like you're losing. But social media only shows results, never the hundreds of hours they wasted. Third reason, fear of not being good enough. You've found good bugs before. You know you can do it. But now, you fear you've lost your spark. You haven't. You're just tired. Sit comfortably. Listen to these sentences slowly. You are still a hunter. Your skills are still growing. Every dry streak you survive makes you better at the craft. You're not behind. You're not slow. You're not failing. Your mind is recalibrating. Your creativity is recharging. Your instincts are sharpening. This silence is not punishment. It's preparation. The next bug you find will come from this phase. This emptiness is the ground where your next discovery grows. When the video ends, do just three things. First, pick one target. Not 10, not 20, one. Focus only on understanding it, not hacking it. Second, slow down. Read every endpoint. Ask questions. What is this supposed to do? How can I misuse it? Creativity returns when curiosity returns. Third, take breaks. Go outside. Sleep properly. You find more vulnerabilities when your mind is rested than when it's stressed. You're not losing your skills. You're not done. You're in the same place that every successful hacker has been. This is the silent chapter before the next breakthrough. When the dry streak ends, and it will, you'll look back at this moment and smile, because this is where your reset began. You're a hunter, and hunters return, always. Take a breath, and start again.